What's going on guys, it's Tony Sauce here and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a team update before season one of Hut Champs. Let's go. All jokes aside, fellas, season one of Hut Champs starts tomorrow. Now, Rivals has been incredibly sweaty. I can't even imagine what Champs is going to be like. Hopefully, the rewards are top tier rewards this year because the XP path is dog shit. But yo, let me give you a quick team update. I'm going to break down my team and show you what I'm going into season one of Hut Champs with. All right, boys, so we are already qualified. So now it's all about just like making the final preparations for the team. And I think that I'm all set and I'm ready to go. So first line, we have Yari Curry, Eric Lindros, and Joe Sackick. This Eric Lindros card, I've been telling everybody, such a slept on card. It might be one of the best uh, cover athlete cards. Best power forward in the game easily. 93 balance if you have power forward synergy mixed with unstoppable force. Unstoppable force is more cracked than last year, bro. You cannot bump this moth off the puck. Six foot four, 240 pounds, man. Like... Just an unbelievable card, 90 body checking, and he's not that slow. He has 86 speed, 84 excel, but I'm telling you, he's not that slow. He has the most points on my team, just absolute stud. And then this Joe Sackett card, a lot of people have it. It's a very good card for an 83, 89 speed in Excel, 92 wrist shot accuracy. I do have make it snappy activated. I don't really know how much this is helping. I feel like it's very nerfed compared to last year. Like last year, make it snappy was insane, but eh, it's not that good this year. Second line. Now, this is where I made a huge upgrade. This used to be 82 overall cover athlete Claude Giroux. We just traded in all of my uh, captain cards or cover athlete 82s. And then we bought a couple, probably spent like 100K to get the rest of the resources to build this Austin Matthews card. Now, this second line has not been producing as much as I would like. In 10 games, he only has two goals and one assist. Uh, minus four for a plus minus. Pretty rough. Now, the card itself is good. Six foot three, 215 pounds, 93 wrist shot accuracy, 86 speed, 85 excel. Uh, I, I feel like wrist shot accuracy like isn't really doing much in this game. I remember in like the older Chells, wrist shot accuracy was very important. Like You would notice that your players with higher wrist shot accuracy would hit snipes much more consistently, but haven't really been noticing that in this game. Pretty good hands here, like 90 hand eye, 91 offensive awareness, 88 puck control. Just like a big body here, 85 balance. You would like to see that a little bit higher, but he is a pretty big player. Very cool card here, a good center. Uh, I have him in between Wyatt Johnston and Martin St. Louis. Now, Martin St. Louis has the most goals on my team. Very good card here, man. He's been cooking for me. 88 speed in Excel. Now, my third line, we have the X Factor line. I absolutely love this line. They've been playing very good. I'm telling you guys, this Elias Pedersen card is absolutely insane. 86 speed in Excel. He feels faster than that. 88 agility, 86 wrist shot accuracy. He hits snipes for me. Just like an all around great fucking card here, man. Love this card. And then we have Lucas Raymond and Cole Caulfield. And for my fourth line, my fourth line has been playing out of their minds recently, man. I've been like putting my fourth line out more than other lines because they've just been so good. We got Mike Madano, Maurice Richard, and Jumbo Joe Thornton with the big gut right there. Now, this Madano card is very good, man. 87 speed, 89 XL for a guy that's six foot three. Absolutely stud card here. Love it. Maurice Richard is also really good, man. He's small. He's 5'10", but he's 89 speed in Excel, 87 balance. Like, it's actually kind of hard to bump him off the puck. 81 body checking. Like, bro, he lays people out. His AI lays people out. Very good card here, man. All around, just great card. Like, every stat is good besides stick checking and D awareness. Like, and deking isn't that good either. But, like, bro, 90 wrist shot accuracy. Like, 89 speed in Excel, 87 balance, 91 endurance. Just great card here. Sniper forward synergy. Yeah. For defense, we have 85 Kael McCarr, one of the best cards in the game, and then 84 Caden Gooley. Actually, like, very good card here. Second line, we have Bowen Byram. I gotta swap that out. I'm not gonna swap him out for champs, but um, next event, I'm hoping the super uh, the Supernatural event has some uh, left-handed MSPs, all right? Because I need to swap out Bowen Byram. This guy is fucking cheeks. Jamie Drysdale, absolute stud of a card here, man. 88 speed, 88 Excel, uh, 88, uh, 82 wrist shot accuracy. He feels way faster than 88 speed in Excel. Like, he's such a good fucking card, man. He just doesn't have the best body checking, but, like, just absolute tank here. 
And then third line, we have Mario Ferraro X-Factor card and Shea Weber. Now, this Shea Weber card's actually nasty. He's only 81 speed in Excel. Like, he's really slow, but he has 84 uh, body checking, and he's six foot four, 240 pounds. Like, he lays people out, bro. I've been struggling trying to get the puck in my in the defensive zone like I've been struggling trying to break up the puck and I'm noticing that like you know stick lifting is great but you have to be in a good stick lifting position like there's a lot of times where I just want to bump someone off the puck and my guys just aren't doing shit but when I have Shea Weber out there if I have Shea Weber out there or Lindros like they can easily break up the pucks like body checking was nerfed in this game so it's like you actually need big bodies out there to to lay people out it's very important so that's just like what I got going on right here with Shea Weber. Other than that, we have uh, Olmark in net now. He doesn't have the best record. He he was like, my, I think my best record with him was like 11 and 3. And then uh, shit really started to catch up to me. I'm 23 and 19 with him. You know, Division 2 has been fucking sweaty, boys. Every game is a sweat fest. It's it's really gnarly how sweaty Division 2 is. Like, I'm, I'm honestly a bit nervous for how sweaty Champs is going to be. Like... Woo! Six foot four, 213 pounds, speed boost synergy here, like pretty good card. I recommend him if you're looking for a goalie. He's pretty cheap. I'd say he's like, I think I got him for like 25K. I had Shesterkin in net before. Shesterkin was also very good, but Olmark's been good as well. And that's it for the team. For synergies, we got playmaking forward on Raymond, Pedersen, Thornton, St. Louis, and Johnston. Sniper forward for uh, Caulfield, Richard, Matthews, Curry, and Sackick. Offensive defenseman for Makar and Drysdale, two-way defenseman for Weber and Byram, and then defensive defenseman for Gooley and Ferraro. So we got five synergies activated here, pretty solid. Uh, we actually could get power forward synergy activated if we swapped out a few players, but it's not that serious. And that's it for the team. That is what I'm going into Hut Champs with, boys. Now, it's going to be sweaty. It's going to be fucking sweaty. It starts tomorrow on Wednesday. I'm going to Texas from the 18th to the 21st. I am bringing the PS5 with me because I got to cook up content for the fantasy event that comes out on Friday, but I don't want to play champ games while I'm in Texas. So I'm probably going to play all of my games Wednesday night and Thursday night. So if you guys want to join the live stream, click the link in the description to my live stream. We're going to be grinding champs. It's going to be mad fun. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to join the Discord, link is also in the description. We talk hut all day. It's mad fun. If you have any questions, the boys are there to help you out. Once again, it's Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.